Hello YouTube, this is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers and today we're taking a look at action cameras. These are top line action cameras from DJI and GoPro. So this is a DJI Osmo Action and this is the GoPro Hero 8 Black. So for those who haven't uh, really had a chance to take a look at the stabilization between the two, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm just going to be doing a walk and I'm also going to do a run and I'm going to do a little bit of an audio test between the two cameras as well. Um, my little rig that I have set up, I just went to Home Depot and got some PVC piping. Um, these mounts are GoPro mounts and I'll put the in the description, YouTube description, uh, where you can get the mounts if you want these, also the cameras. Definitely hit the subscribe button because that does help me get in products like these. So thank you DJI for sending this out and GoPro. At the end of the video, I'm going to add my own analysis based on the footage I saw. And that's pretty much it. So here we go. Okay, so I'm using both the GoPro Hero 8 and the Osmo Action. The Osmo Action is set to 4K30 just like the Hero 8 right now. And the Osmo Action is using what they call Rocksteady for the stabilization. So that's turned on. And the, the GoPro is using Hypersmooth. GoPro has a, a bunch of different settings that you can turn on when you have that Hypersmooth. But I have it set one notch below the boost. And so you can sort of see I'm, as I'm walking, it's not as it's probably steady as a, a gimbal, but it's probably pretty gimbal-like. So I'm going to turn it around now. Also listen to the audio. So we'll do a test here in the GoPro Hero 8. So this is a test about the audio, GoPro Hero 8. And here's a test for the audio for the Osmo Action. Same distance away. So let's pick up the pace a little bit and see how these cameras perform. All right, here we go. Going up. Got a little bit of a, a cool bike area here that people um, ride their bikes on. Got a little bit of hill, so let's test this out. So we'll just go down, go back up, go down. Pretty cool. And we'll go back around. Whew. All right, it's a little bit of a workout. So hopefully you can see the cameras are doing pretty good. Got some water over there. So now I'm just gonna walk really s slowly so you can get a sense of what it might be like if you were to use a camera trying to replicate a gimbal maybe. I'm shaking still but and then just walking. Switch hands. And this is just handheld so hopefully the uh, both cameras, action cameras are doing a pretty good job. All right, so that sort of uh, conducts the test of both the Osmo Action and the GoPro Hero 8. All right, so I'm back and I have to say the GoPro Hero 8 hit it out of the park. The, the colors look better to me. The stabilization obviously looked a lot better. Uh, the detail on the video looked better. Um, the Osmo Action, for whatever reason, the detail looked a little bit washed out and the, the sound quality, um, right out of the camera, the, the sound was louder coming out of the GoPro Hero 8 than it was on the Osmo Action. Um, obviously, the Osmo Action has some really cool functionality. They have the forward-facing screen so you can sort of see yourself if you wanted to. You have the ability to remove the, the lens cap here um, where you can't do that on the GoPro. The, on the back of the Osmo Action, the rear screen, let me just power it up here. The rear screen is bigger. So let's see, I got the front screen on now. So let's go back. So here you go. 
you can you have a lot more real estate with the Osmo action than you do on the GoPro. For whatever reason, GoPro really didn't utilize a lot of the screen back here, which is a disappointment. Now that said, they are gonna have a module with a flip up screen, um, and so that will sort of equalize this, but it is makes the whole camera a lot bulkier. But in my opinion, if I was gonna have a uh, like a setup, I'd probably use the GoPro Hero 8 over the Osmo Action just because of the stability. Um, and I didn't even use Boost on the Hero 8, so it, it adds even more stability if you want that. Um, all in all though, both are excellent cameras. If you wanna save a little bit of money, the Osmo Action's great. Um, and again, it's uh, as good or better than the GoPro Hero 7, but the GoPro Hero 8, I think, they GoPro did a better job. They upped it a little bit. So expect the Osmo Action DJI to come out with maybe improvement on software to help out with the stabilization, or maybe they'll just come out with a new camera within the next year or so um, that either equals or dominates the action camera market. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Definitely hit the subscribe button because again, that does help me get in products like these from manufacturers. Also, check out GearMasters.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.